Stingy Jack, also known as Jack the Smith, Flaky Jack, Drunken Jack, Jack of the Lantern, and by many other names, was a blacksmith and trickster. Jack was drunk, a liar, and a thief with skills that could rival the devil himself. Jack's life of crime and his sheer level of skill attracted the attention of the devil, who was unhappy that someone could rival him. When the devil showed up to take Jack's soul, he tricked the devil into letting him have one last drink before he left Earth. After the devil and Jack had their drinks, Jack told the devil that he had no money, so he tricked him into turning into a silver coin. The devil obliged, and then Jack put the coin in his pocket, where he kept a cross that he stole. This prevented the devil from turning back into his true from. With no choice, the devil made a deal with Jack not to take his soul, so Jack let the devil go. When Jack's time came again, the devil returned to try to take his soul one last time. Jack agreed to go with the devil only if he would pick an apple from a tree for him without using his powers. The devil agreed, and once again Jack tricked him with his silver tongue. Jack quickly put some crosses around the tree the devil was in. He left him up there until he agreed to never take his soul, so Jack let the devil go. Jack continued his evil ways until he died. He went to the gates of heaven, but wasn't allowed in, so he tried entering hell, but was denied entry there as well. Jack begged to be led into the heaven or hell, but his crimes prevented him from going to heaven, and the devil kept his word that he wouldn't take Jack's soul. Jack was forced to wander in between heaven, hell, and earth with no rest. Before he left the gates of hell, the devil, who took pity on Jack, but also mocking his fate, tossed Jack burning coal to help light his way. The devil laughed at Jack's misery. In his life, Jack was cunning, sneaky, and crafty. He had a silver tongue and was deceitful. He was cheater and a sinner who enjoyed causing mischief, and he was thief. Jack could fool and trick others, but almost no one could trick or fool Jack. He is a man who followed his own rules and decided his own fate. No one told Jack what to do. Jack wasn't just good with words, he was quick with them as well. Jack didn't have much skills to help him, so he used his brain. Jack was a man who always had a plan and something up his sleeve. He was also a cruel man. While Jack thought he could win against the devil, and even though he outsmarted him, the devil still cursed Jack to wander between worlds forever. This was the devil's payback to Jack for tricking him so many times. Jack never showed fear or worry for his soul when the devil came to take it, not until he learned that he would never be allowed to rest in the afterlife of heaven or hell. In his life he was a swindler who made a lot of wealth, which did him no good when he died, but only did him some good when he was alive. In his life, he was cruel man who stole and started fights. But after his body died, he became a soul that was forced to live to live forever with his crimes and sins. When he was alive, Jack felt no shame or guilt for what he had done not until he died and was cursed. Jack's curse is not only a punishment for him, but a warning for others who have sinned like Jack. He tries keep others from making the same mistakes that he has made, but will also prey on those who have sinned and don't listen to his warnings. Jack's turnip and coal given to him by the devil is what started the idea of jack-o'-lanterns to keep evil spirits away. However, those who have sin in their hearts, their jack-o'-lantern becomes a beacon for Jack.